Can you tell us like when and how you came into, you know, realizing this unconditional love and what is it and how did you kind of, re like, when did that moment happen for you? Well, I started to really understand that uh, our emotions were guidance in some way and I didn't really know how they were guiding us but I knew that our emotions was, it was God or the universe, whatever you want to call it, talking to us. And over time I started to realize that when I was in a place of happiness, joy, appreciation, fun, uh, interest, um, relaxation, carefreeness, uh, lightness, that, that feeling of security. When I was in any one of those places, if I stayed in it long enough, things that were what I wanted would start to flow into my life. And I started to realize that for, at least in my experience, my emotions are indicators and they are, it's communication, that it's an indicator or a communication saying to me, when I'm in a happy place, I'm seeing whatever the situation is, the same as the source within me or the God within me or the energy, life force that's within me, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm not religious, but that this source within me has a certain perspective and this perspective is all loving, all, um, all knowing that all is well, um, infinitely intelligent, brilliant, fun, playful, light, uh, easy, really easy, really effortless, really relaxed, really um, soothing and kind and sweet and tender. That's, that's this energy of source and it's also exuberant and celebrational and it approves of everyone. What I've seen is it approves of every single person and every single person in every single way and not just every person but every animal and plant and amoeba and <laughs> everything. It's really unconditionally approving. It's unconditionally appreciative. It's unconditionally um, kind and soothing and fun. So I started to see that when I was in a place that was at all like that, where I was approving of other people or where I was appreciating other people or where I was having fun, other good things started to flow into my life. And I saw that when I was worried, when I was concerned, when I was angry, when I was sad, when I was afraid, when I was feeling limited in any way, uh, it's like the, the flow of goodness stopped flowing into my life. And what I've come to realize is that this source energy or whatever you want to call it, this source energy is always flowing into us all the time, loving us wanting to soothe us, wanting to please us, wanting to bring us everything that we have become. But the only time that I can really connect with it and allow it to provide for me all that it wants to provide is when I'm in this place of love, happiness, joy, appreciation. And for me, love and, and appreciation, they're pretty much the same. When I love someone I or something, all I can see is the goodness that's in them. All I can see is how right they are and how perfect they are and how brilliant they are. Um, and when I get out, when I get a little bit of concern, that's just me perceiving it differently than the source within me perceives it. Because from my experience, the source within me is so steeped in well-being, so steeped in adoration and love and appreciation and approval and admiration that it doesn't matter what anybody's experiencing, they or it knows that it's perfect. It knows that it's, it's exactly right in this moment and that everybody's on their path.